Hello everyone and welcome to your daily reading. This is your daily message for tomorrow, Friday, November the 1st, 2019. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Halloween. I should say Merry Halloween because it is snowing where I am. <laughs> Can't imagine that there's going to be many people going out tonight, but nevertheless, uh, I've got my cup of hot cocoa here and um, got the heat cranked up in my apartment. So it's going to be a snuggly warm evening and I'm looking forward to doing your reading. So let's go ahead and do that. We're using the Alchemia Tarot deck today as well as the uh, Butterfly Oracle. Yeah, just decided on that. Feels good, looks good. Um, we have that uh, Stellium in Scorpio right now with the Moon in Sag. <clears throat> so beautiful energy in the sky. Uh, happy birthday to all my Scorpios out there who may be watching. If you happen to have a birthday tomorrow. Let's see, what are the messages and energies of spirit you'd like to share with the collective for Friday, November the 1st, 2019 for all signs, all signs that may be watching. I'll call out the signs as I see them. What message would you like to share with the collective for tomorrow, Friday, November the 1st, 2019? Two more shuffles here, guys. Messages and energies for the collective for tomorrow, Friday, November the 1st, 2019. Let's do one more. Guys, be sure to hit that like button. It lets me know that you enjoy getting these daily readings in your feed. Uh, leave a comment if you want. We have the Four of Coins in reverse. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Wands in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, it looks like. Now, my cards are definitely shuffled here. So you'll see there's uprights and reversals. So we happen to have reversed energies here. So sometimes that can just indicate that there are blocked energies or, you know, we are in this Mercury retrograde right now. Uh, we're no longer in the shadow. It's actually going retrograde in Scorpio. Mercury has. So this can uh, definitely mess with, uh, it can mess with the cards. It can. Can mess with technology as well. I gotta make sure that this thing is recording. All right, so let's talk about the cards then on the table. We have Earth sign energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Fire sign energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and Fire sign. I believe the Five of Wands is a Mars and Leo energy. So, uh, I could be speaking to uh, earth signs, fire signs, and we also have the three of cups here. So water signs. Hmm, interesting, just saw the hermit. So the underlying theme or challenge of this reading is the three of cups. So I am seeing, uh, you know, celebrations here, friendships, community coming together. Uh, the Three of Cups to me is a card more about friendship than it is love. It can also indicate um, a celebration, some kind of a party. All right, people coming together here. Three or more people coming together. Uh, I'm also hearing reunion. So tomorrow can be a day of some kind of important reunion amongst friends. I suppose it could also be for lovers as well. We have a four of coins reverse. So um, I'm really getting with this energy. Um, someone is holding on, unwilling to let go, but they're going to be forced to let go or, or be forced to open up. So 
This is an energy of purging. It's a purging energy of letting go, of opening up, emotions coming out. I'm sensing that this is a different energy than we have here. Um, I'm getting that uh, someone is unwilling to is unwilling to let go of something, but they're also not opening up. Or they're letting go, but they're not telling someone that they're letting go. Queen of Wands in reverse, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. This can be a Sag female I'm reading for. Uh, the Queen of Wands reversed is in her shadow element if she's reversed, or it can be a Sagittarius female, like I said. Um, with the reverse qualities, we get someone who can be very catty, dramatic, mean. I'm hearing authoritarian. Um, the Five of Wands in reverse just indicates uh, petty hassles and struggles that are really not worth your time. It's also about dropping an argument or dropping a debate or staying out of the argument or staying out of, um, I'm seeing this as someone who's looking upon, uh, people who are fighting, who are arguing, but I feel that that argument is coming to an end. I feel like this debate is coming to an end. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the energies here aren't um, totally, it feels kind of a bit rough around the edges. You know, things feel a little bit like unsettled, but they're settling down. Kind of the dust is settling kind of feeling I'm getting. And with the three of cups here, I do feel like um, a friendship's can be restored at this time. There can be obviously reunions coming back together. Um, but there, there does seem to be some amount of blocked energy here is what I'm getting. I'm also, I'm also hearing someone would like, someone would like people to stop fighting or someone would, would appreciate it if, if this kind of thing die down these uh these people who are arguing fighting um causing you know just causing obstacles causing trouble these troublemakers is what i'm getting yeah because i'm getting some frustration as well okay so interesting uh reading interesting message uh, I didn't know what to expect, but I will say I feel my psychic energies challenge today. I don't know how it is for others of you out there who are reading tarot, but I, I did have a hard time kind of getting started today. I just, it felt like there was just, the energies are just um, sorting themselves out right now. A lot is still being sorted and filtered through. All right, but... Let's see what uh, other guidance we can get from the Butterfly Oracle here. Butterfly Oracle cards. What is your guidance for tomorrow, please? Friday, November the 1st, 2019. Okay, we have retirement. All right, so I could be reading for someone who is facing retirement, contemplating retirement, going through some kind of, um, could be retiring from their job. Let's see. Peaking an early retirement. I'm going to read a little bit here. This card indicates a change in your work schedule, most likely related to reducing your hours of employment. This may or may not be voluntary on your part. Retirement is a big change in your daily routine and your identity. Whether this transition is something you planned for or not, you'll now be focusing on how to spend your freed up hours, as well as accompanying financial changes. You receive this card as acknowledgement of your shifting schedule and budget, and also as encouragement that with planning, self-honesty, and the input of experts such as financial advisors or counselors, you will enjoy a beautiful retirement. Additional meanings. 
the retirement of a parent or other loved one, a change of employment, an opportunity to pursue your dreams, making the best of your time, getting some rest, taking a meaningful vacation to a place that you've always dreamed about. Okay, so uh, definitely seeing someone here letting go. Could be frustrating time. It may be hard to stay in our highest power at this time. Um, letting go, I'm seeing again, letting go of conflict, letting go of petty hassles and struggles, and then the celebration. So someone may definitely be celebrating their retirement tomorrow. Let me know if this is you. If that's the case, congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations on your transition to this next phase in your life. And for, uh, you know, many more happy memories to come and, and obviously many more um, new adventures on the horizon. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this daily message. And I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Uh, there will be one more reading um, tomorrow. That will be the seventh in the series, I believe. And then um, I will see about uh, getting back to doing the weekly readings. I just did not feel like doing them this week, so that's why I went back to doing daily readings. But if you want to help support this channel, I should mention the best way to do that is by booking a private tarot reading with me. You can also donate via, po via PayPal or through Patreon. Um, those would be the best ways. Uh, also, just, your, just watching uh, really does help out. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a, a wonderful day and uh, take good care.